Biomime is uh, an acronym for uh, Swedish Center for Biomimetic Fiber Engineering. And the uh, main mission of the center is basically to understand how plant cell walls are built and to uh, exploit this information to make new materials with uh, improved properties and performance, higher performance. The aim of Biomime Bio Bio Center is to understand the plant cell wall formation, to study wood cell wall structure and start study wood formation. So we can learn basic knowledge by nature, so, so what nature does there. We are addressing very fundamental biological questions, which uh, some of them people have been looking for answers for years. So that, that is very exciting. It's like uh, being a detective. You, you have a mystery and you have to solve it. So we're interested in adhesion and maybe um, trying to control the adhesion to allow, in some cases, sliding easily, in which case perhaps we're interested in super lubricity. Uh, for example, a wound dressing, you might want to have very low friction, whereas a nanocomposite, you might want to have a very strong adhesion and no sliding. So we try to control those types of interactions but we try to understand them mechanistically at the nanoscale level. This is very interesting using biomimetic concepts or methods because for a long time in the forest industry we basically use wood either as a construction material like we build houses, build floors, things like that or we use them as a resource for the pulp and paper industry. What we can learn from nature is how wood assemble those different materials into an extraordinary material. So we do really fundamental research on wood, on wood cell wall formation. Assemble this nano building box to macro material with super good properties. Biomimetics covers everything, not only wood, but, but when it comes to wood, I think it has a really great potential because wood is a, is a very important raw material. Okay, so everybody wants to do more things of the wood. I think the cross-disciplinary work is very interesting. It's definitely challenging. It's interesting because my way of looking at things is always from a chemical point of view. I don't know a lot about material science, mechanical properties, uh, perhaps biochemistry, what lies beneath uh, the cellular structure, etc. So we all come in with one part of a puzzle, so we're trying to combine these parts into different puzzles. And we think it's important that the students not only know what instruments they can find in their own group, but also what instruments they can find in other groups in Biomind, because we think this really can make it a lot easier to collaborate between the different groups, because you just discover instruments that are not usually used in your group, but maybe they have a lot of knowledge about in other research groups. My results can be used to um, uh, develop new materials and uh, understand the interactions between different components in the materials. Uh, adhesion, for example, between uh, fibers and a matrix polymer and also uh, how a material could be um, enzymatically degraded. Our ultimate vision is, of course, that we should be able to attract students from all over the world with different ethnical backgrounds and educational backgrounds. And I think this is possible with the type of, of, of program that we're designing here. The seminar series we have in the context of Biomime are held every fortnight. And this is a very important forum for our students, but also for the senior researchers to have a multidisciplinary uh, interaction. And the seminars are given either by the professors and assistant professors within Biomime or by the PhD students themselves. We regularly uh, have speakers from within Biomime, but also speakers from outside Biomime, international speakers. If we know that there is a guest professor coming to Sweden that might be very known within the biomimetic field, where we really try to get those professors to come and talk. Uh, it's very interesting to see also what they do around the world within this area. And this is a very uh, important uh, series of seminars for the, for the students and uh, to provide them with background in a wide range of disciplines and also for the researcher. It's a good forum to stimulate even further activities. I can say that the benefit you get from such courses are immense 
because um, you are teached by uh, people who are experienced in the area, but also the scientific discussion with the with the professors and the people who are taking part of the course is of great interest. An important uh, part of our work in the biocomposites group is also the work on porous materials. We can make aerogels that are, have only 1% of solid material, so 90%, 99% is air. So these materials have extremely good thermal insulation capability, for instance. There are already a few innovations that have uh, come out of the center uh, activities. Uh, for instance, we have used uh, uh, bacterial cellulose. Which is an interesting type of cellulose produced by bacteria, as the name implies. And this type of cellulose is interesting because it's a hydrogel, and it can be used in different types of medical applications. So we see some really exciting possibilities there. Well, we hope to identify enzymes that we can uh, use in, in fiber modification and we can use these to, to build new fancy biomaterials that could re replace the, the petrol-based uh, uh, plastics that we have uh, today, for example. Talking about material research or new materials is really hard to communicate because no one really knows what it is. And then I, I, I came across the concept of biomimetics and I thought, okay, this is a very good starting point for a storytelling. We have some kind of relationship to a bug or a plant, and then we can start the, the discussion there. I, I think this is going to be a, a, a huge field for, for the future, and that that uh, different uh, um, different islands of knowledge will will emerge and and work together as science and design. Swedish industry is very strong on cellulose materials, so this is a major ambition with our work that we collaborate with industry. We want to make a chair with the egg box technique and the egg box material, but it has to be water resistant. The chair is the result of uh, many years of research. We have been working on developing new materials, bio-based and forest-based, and that uh, in Ventia we are trying to to make sure that the industry can make use of the results that we are producing within BioMine. We also work on foams, and our foams are as good as um, petroleum-based uh, plastic foams. And we think these biofoams will be quite interesting for packaging materials in the future. And I think in the future this this field of science and the inspiration from nature will increase more and more. And I mean, we are changing from this oil-based economy into a sugar-based economy where cellulose and starch are becoming the new starting materials instead of oil. By studying uh, tree structures, plant structures, we will be able to create much better materials for the future. When you come back to the lab and make some experiments and suddenly you get a, a small piece of answer, that is very, very exciting. So. I think that, that what drives me is curiosity. We want to know how it works.